How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a little bit different video today. Behind me here, I have a Linux firewall acting as a man in the middle packet analyzer. It's a Linux PC with two ethernet cards in it. On one ethernet port, I'm connected to a Wi-Fi router. On the other ethernet port, we are connected to the internet. And what that lets me do is analyze the packets in real time from any devices that are connected to that Wi-Fi network. And what we're gonna be doing today is analyzing the privacy features of the iPhone 12 with the updated iOS, as well as the unplugged Upphone. And we're gonna compare the privacy settings and see how they match up head to head. We wanna see uh, if the privacy settings on the iPhone blocks more connections and more trackers than the Upphone. So with that said, let's get rolling. All right, folks, so what we got here is my Linux firewall that I'm shelled into. What we got over here is my DHCP service. We're just running a TCP dump here and just sniffing the Ethernet interface. And what we're watching for is assigned IP addresses. So we will know uh, what IP address gets assigned to this phone. I've already downloaded two apps, one called, called Survival Shelter, the other one called Weatherbug, just two. One is some dumb game out there, and the other one is a common weather app that somebody would use. So when we're to do is open up the settings on the iPhone and connect to this Wi-Fi network. Um, we're going to go ahead and look for the IP. So we got an IP here of 106 that was just assigned, which means up here in my Maltop program, I've got the from IP command line argument. So we're going to put in 10.10.1.106 just so we can filter just the data of uh, the data of the connections coming from this phone. And these are DNS requests. Okay, so these are uh, basically all the requested the DNS um, that are coming from this iPhone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and go over and open up the survival shelter program. And it's popped up and said ask app not to track. I'm going to click that. And then the game is loading and you can see in real time all of the trackers that are being uh, connected to uh, on this device, right? So you can clearly see that the um, do not track um, is uh, not being followed in these applications, at least this particular application. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and close out this game on the iPhone. And we're gonna go ahead and reset our, uh, our uh, ma uh, Maltop here. And we're going to open up the Weatherbug app and do the same thing. Got the Weatherbug app going here, get started. It's already started tracking us and I haven't even, um, we haven't even really um, done anything with the app yet. Add current location, uh, 05821, an old town I used to live in back in the day, save. Now it's asking, ask app not to track. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you can see here all the different trackers that are uh, being connected to and established from this iPhone, from this app. So clearly the do not track is not being respected on the iPhone. These are really bad, y'all. You can go ahead and copy these. I can copy these over to ChatGPT uh, when you see these. And they're just not good, right? They're they're collecting private information, they're sending telemetry, it's not respecting the do not track on the iPhone. So now what we're gonna do is switch over to the Upphone, we're gonna do the same thing with the same apps and see what the results are over there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect this Upphone to the same Wi-Fi network. You can see here that an IP address was assigned as 102. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow over here and just replace this with dot .102. We're gonna go ahead and over into the privacy center for this phone. You can see I have ads and trackers turned on right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the first app, which is gonna be the survival shelter game. Same game. You can see here that um, no, no trackers were sent out, right? No advertising networks, no trackers, uh, no malicious tool connections. Go ahead and close that, and then we're gonna go ahead and open up Weatherbug now. Various connections to the Weatherbug servers, various servers out there, weatherbug.net, typical, right, to get its data. But again, no trackers being connected to from this device. 
Well, folks, I think we can let the results speak for themselves. The iPhone was clearly sending out a lot of telemetry out there to the various tracking infrastructure, tracking servers. And you know what? It's really kind of interesting to see that when we turned on do not track on those apps, that it made absolutely no difference whatsoever. However, when we were connected to the Wi-Fi with the unplugged up phone and we turned on the tracking firewall on this device, it blocked 100% of all the connections. There is just literally no comparison. And it, honestly, the up phone just wins outright. The iPhone doesn't even make an attempt to block any of the trackers that we were seeing on the real-time packet analysis. So folks, I got more tests to come. You're gonna to wanna to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.